Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Triggs and welcome back to uh, another video. Woo, how, how exciting. Uh, my fucking, my last video got some views. I didn't realise it'd get like over a hundred views, so. If you're, well obviously a lot of them would not have been subscribed, so you definitely should subscribe. Because if you don't, then that's just rude. And you might as well, because I barely upload and it's free. So subscribe. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe or um or or, or else I'll come and murder your family. Okay. Alright, let's get into the video. <laughs> In this video I'm gonna be going through the top third wait. One, two, three, four, wait, twelve. The top thirteen mods that everyone should have in Terraria. So this is like the quality of life type mods that just make some stuff easier for you. Some of it is a bit overpowered, but I'll go through that when I go into the mods. Now these aren't in any specific order, they're just put in random order, whichever they come up in, so they're not like ranked 1 to 13, which one's best and all that, but I don't really have a personal favourite because they're all pretty useful. But the first mod is the Alchemist NPC Light mod. Now this is extremely useful. First off, if you have every single crafting station, you can craft it into one big one, which is this. Which are, all of these are crafting to them. And you have, I'm pretty sure it's eight NPCs. Yeah, we have the Young Brewer, who just does combinations and flasks, which are pretty useful. I don't think you can stack potions, like I don't think you can do a combination and then a normal potion. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. This one just sells all the base potions from vanilla and well, all these mods that are listed here. This one has some potions which can teleport you across the map and some other materials for them. And also you get a charm which you can upgrade throughout the game progress and it gives you a chance to not consume potions, you get discounts and the duration is longer. The rest of them are just like mo like accessories, uh, music boxes, boss drops, and this one does treasure bags too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, when you kill the first boss, I think this one does treasure bags. This one does stuff for arenas and uh, gems, and then this one sells pretty much all the blocks that you can find, and all the Eve type of furniture. So the second mod we're going to be looking at is Vein Miner mod, and I suggest putting the keybind for Vein Mine as your left click because it's just easier than pressing the button and then having to mine it. And the way you do it is you bind keys to allow them or disallow them, and it should come up with this in the bottom left. So mine's X and Z. X is add, C is remove. So I press X to add it, and if I get my pickaxe out and mine it, it mines it all quickly. And it's just a really useful mod to have that. I think everyone should have. Now the third mod we're going to be looking at is the Louis AFK mod and this is why I said some of it is OP because you have infinite things that you can get infinite everything with this pretty much all like infinite buffs, infinite arena buffs, <laughs> all the uh, buffs and you, you can set a hotkey which you can activate some buffs like extreme peaceful or extreme battle buff and it, it's just it spawns so many mobs and like unlimited mana and all that mana shut up I can't pronounce words pretty much all the types of infinite ammo I just grab random ones so you have unlimited rockets all the unlimited ar arrows bullets is that darts yeah darts too and you have loads of build helpers like you have multi-purpose sponge so it can soak up all the liquids you have infinite buckets of everything you can make a, like a sky bridge or a long minecart track going across the whole of your world. NPC prisons, a, a elevator, the dirt rod 2.0, a pool builder, a fishing biome builder, the arena platform builder, which can, you know, there's loads of settings on all these as well, and they all are really helpful. And you have these three, which you turn that into this, and then this goes into this. And they are really useful. It increases, like, what it says there, painting, tile and wall speed massively increased, the range is massively increased and they're very useful but some are OP. They're also like infinite 
event starters and boss summons and all that. But I don't. But I think it's like I don't remember how to craft them. But I think you need quite a bit, and I don't think you'll be fighting the boss that many times to need an infinite one. <laughs> but it's still a very useful mod to have. Now the fourth mod we're going to be looking at is the Magic Storage mod, which is probably one of my favourites because. Instead of having the chests everywhere, it just makes storage really easy. The way you do it is you need a storage heart, and then you have loads of storage components around. You can upgrade them, but I just recommend getting a fuck ton of these and just putting them in a big room. In a in a big room. <sighs> Puberty. And get a crafting one as well, so you put all your crafting stations in here, and it comes up with all the recipes. And then if you put everything in here... Then that's pretty much your storage. You can search for them, search by mod, search by name, have loads of filters and how you want to sort them. And they all need to be touching each other, or you can have like a little connector block. And I just suggest putting them near each other. Now, this is like three mods in one, but it's the solutions mod, mushroom seeds, and truffle worm that are craftable mods. And they all are really useful because the solutions mod, you can have all these different attachments that do different things with the con contaminator you can have infinite of every solution like ores you can even have water and granite deep green solution actuating blocks you can have that you can have different types like the one shot or the boomstick contaminator you can also do gems as well and then this one is you just need glowing mushrooms which can be turned into glow mushroom trunks which then turns into mushroom grass seeds, so you don't have to just spend ages getting them. And I know you can just put like a dryad in a mushroom biome, but it just saves the hassle. And then the craftable, well, actually that's from the little AFK mod, that you have one and then it just turns into the infinite one. And also you don't need to fish it. But these are also craftable with worms and glowing mushrooms, which is really useful as well, so you don't have to go find them. Now the... S sixth? Sixth mod? Yes. Yeah, the sixth mod that we're going to be looking at now <laughs> is the starter kits or slash bags mod. And it's just useful because in each starter bag, where well, you get given an unopened bag first and you craft it into one of these, the warrior's bag has, well, they all have iron armor and an accessory to go with each class. And you also get a life crystal or a mana crystal and some healing or mana potions. And then corresponding weapons for each starter kit and they're just helpful to get you starting off and then the starter kit just starts you with these so you get some arrows her bags and like i said the unopened bag which turns into these and just some starter tools to make it a bit easy for you in the early game now the seventh mod we're going to be looking at is the weapon out mod and it's pretty self-explanatory really if you like i hold the rudder discord and you can see it's behind me there Hold the pickaxe and it's behind me. And if you have weapons, you hold them out. Same with guns and pretty much everything you hold, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm holding the iron ore. And I didn't actually know this until recently. But the weapon out mod actually has a lot of stuff in them. Where is it? Yeah. It has a lot of items in them. So it has loads of weapons. And you can have like emblems, which just make your class really overpowered. So it's a very useful mod for that as well. Now we're looking at the 8th mod, and it's good because we just used the menu right before, which is the heroes mod. And this is mainly for like servers and just checking everything's like alright. But I don't recommend using this on a legit playthrough, because obviously it won't be legit then. Because whatever mod you have installed, anything, all the vanilla items, you can get everything. You can also put prefixes on, exploit, reveal the whole map, turn on light hacks, disable gravestones, set a spawn point wherever you want. Some mods can have extension tools with this. You can have god mode, any buff you want, spawn anything you want, set waypoints, change the time, pause time, speed up time, clear everything on the ground. Disable enemy spawns. Enable fly camera, which is this pretty much. And the infinite reach, which you don't need if you have one of these. But if you're not doing a like normal playthrough, you're probably going to be having one of these. So you can just use this, which lets you 
mine fast and wherever you want on the screen. Now the ninth mod is a more simpler but still a really useful mod which is the boss cursor mod and I'm going to demonstrate it so if we just summon a boss using the hero mod let's just actually we need to turn it to knight first and if we spawn the eye of Cthulhu oh that's my that's another mod that we're playing <laughs> and then if it goes off screen a little cursor will come up, show them where it is, so it's just easier to know where it is. Now the tenth mod is again a simple but really useful mod. If you go into your inventory, it's will be down at the bottom right somewhere. And it just tells you a list of all the pre-hard mode and hard mode bosses, events, mini bosses that you need to fight. And it's just an easy way to keep track of where you are in the game and what you need to do to progress. The 11th mod we're going to be looking at is the Recipe Browser mod, which if you bind it to, mine's just Y, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> it just, if you put like, iron ore in here, it'll give you all the recipes used with iron ore. And if you go on craft, then well there's nothing for here, but it'll show you what's used to craft this item. This is just a list of all the items, a list of all the mobs in the game, and then a help if you just you, you need help with it. <laughs> now the twelfth mob we're going to be looking at is more for like if you have several mods enabled and you just want to know which mod it, it's from, hence the name, which mod is this from. So if I hover over the alchemist charm, it will say the alchemist NPC light, which is the mod. Which is, again, useful for if you're doing, like, a big mod pack let's play or something along the lines of that and you just want to know what mods are or you want to stick to certain weapons from a certain mod, etc. And finally, for mod number 13, it is yet another health bar, which, if you're playing Calamity, they have their own health bar now, but it's still good to have this, so it's bigger and it's just easier to see. But for mods that don't have it, it's useful to have, so if we go and spawn the Eye of Cthulhu real quick. At the bottom it will say the exact health, just big right into the bottom. If we attack it, it goes down, it's just easy to see and it's pretty useful. You can, so you don't have to keep hovering your mouse over it, seeing what health it is, or... Looking in the bottom right for the, for the little Calamity one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see like in-depth mods on like the Louis FK mod or the Magic Storage mod, then definitely let me know in the comments because I'll make sure to do them. Because there are a lot more things than I talked about in this, and some of you might not understand the mod, so I'll definitely do in-depth videos on them if you'd like that. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe because, well, if all 100 people in the last video subscribed, I'd be on about like 160 subscribers or like that, and that would be amazing for me and it'd mean a lot. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, after I've killed these... Well, not killed them, but... Peace! <laughs>